Hey, in this video, I'm going to be sharing a few super fun, low pressure exercises that I have been loving doing over the past few weeks. This is an interactive video, so if you want to draw along, then feel free to do so. Grab yourself a pen, a piece of paper, and as I chat through these exercises, we can also do them together. I make weekly art tutorials, paint alongs, and vlogs, and recently I have been loving doing warm up exercises. This first one is essentially doing time studies and for this piece we're going to give ourselves two minutes to <laughs> to look at this beautiful and intricate bouquet and the two minutes starts now if you're also creating but the aim of these exercises and the reason that I enjoy them so much is that it's to really look and see what catches your attention most to get looser to um, observe and also to just have fun because you know that the time constraints are more times are not just way too small for you to create a perfect piece so you can already know that you're not going to create something perfect and thus the aim is to just do your best this by far has been the most fun way that i have had in being looser and also in recreating pieces over and over again for this piece we have two minutes sometimes i'll give myself more sometimes i'll give myself less and sometimes i will just keep doing different time studies so that i can really see how it changes depending on how much time I'm giving myself you can do something that is as complex as this bouquet or you can just focus on a single element or a single rose or a single flower if you're drawing along you have one minute left <laughs> I find that the benefit of doing these studies is that you really learn how to convey the bits of the references that catch your attention, you know, the highlights. You are naturally forced to loosen up, but you shouldn't let the timer detract from you having fun or enjoying the process. And if you find that you do need a little bit more time, then that's fine. And eventually you'll get to this comfortable medium where you know how much time works for you when you're doing these exercises. These exercises push us they help us improve our observational skills and they also help us narrow down what is most important to us so it isn't meant to be perfect it is by the name of it a warm-up exercise and the more I've done these the more I've enjoyed them and also the better I have gotten at conveying a lot of information in a shorter period of time which comes in super helpful when you want to create outdoors as well so it's a skill that translates to other areas I usually find that I like to use pen for these exercises because I don't don't even want to introduce the temptation of rubbing things out or erasing things. Now our first two minutes are up but fear not we have another exercise to do in the next two minutes and that is a one line drawing. The way to do this is put pen down to paper and once you start off you can't lift your pen up again so you just have to do one continuous drawing. We are going to start our timer now and we'll have two minutes to do this reference photo if you're joining in. I really love doing this exercise, I just find it to be super fun, my art looks completely different and it also pushes me outside of my comfort zone. I have to be a bit more creative with the way that I create anything whether it be florals or leaves or whatever it is that I'm creating just by the fact that it all has to be done with one line. It's an exercise that I've also tried to do with portraits and with landscapes and it's just something fun to do. My art always ends up looking more abstract as a result but equally I also end up appreciating what matters most to me in a reference photo. You are able to go back on yourself, you are able to cross, go across things, you are able to do whatever you can in order to depict as much of the reference photo as you can using one single line and it I really actually quite like the way that I do roses by spiraling around in this technique and it's something that I wouldn't have done otherwise were it not for this warm-up exercise just a heads up that we have just under a minute left I have found this <laughs> also very challenging because I tend to find that if I try to overcorrect things so if I try to like tighten up when I'm doing this one line drawing that ultimately means that that area starts getting a lot darker it starts getting a lot more detail and it starts drawing a lot more attention and that is not what I want to do more times than not so it's actually helped me embrace being a bit looser <laughs> so it's definitely one that I recommend trying to do a few times and one of the things that I love doing is as I've mentioned recreating the same reference photo using all these different techniques so whether it be that I am doing it under timed conditions or I'm doing one line drawing or I'm doing one line drawing under timed conditions just seeing how everything changes by 
doing these little different tasks and also seeing if the main focal point remains the same. Our time is up for that one but here are just a few other examples of drawings where I have recreated the same reference photo using different styles and using different exercises. If you're enjoying this video don't forget to hit the like button and to consider subscribing as it's a free way that really makes a difference to this channel and encourages me so thank you in advance. Now for this one we are going to have three minutes to create it and as I do that I'm going to chat through some different ways that I have embraced different exercises to help in my creativity. We have just under three minutes to create this and whether you choose to do one line or timed conditions is entirely up to you but another thing that I have tried doing that I really enjoy is looking at a reference photo or looking at whatever I'm going to create for a set period of time and then giving myself an unrestricted amount of time to recreate it without looking back at the reference and this has really helped me with my observational skills and how you do it can be entirely up to you and you can be flexible so it's not that you have to restrict how long you look at the reference or that you have to restrict how long you create the painting or the drawing thereafter. It has honestly really been so so interesting to do especially I feel like in this fast-paced social media world we're not used to looking at things for ages and it's just interesting how my observational skills are not always as great as I thought that they were but they are getting better in doing this as well as just slowing down and paying attention to what I am looking at and what strikes out to me the most which is a recurring theme through all these exercises so yeah I definitely recommend that you try it whether it be that you decide that you're going to look at something for one minute and then recreate it for a set period of time or whether you look at something until you are absolutely satisfied that you have burnt this image in your mind and you can recreate it then recreating it and seeing what does it look like what have you left out have you included everything um in which case you have a photo <laughs> a photogenic memory um but just having a look at what you then create and also what you omit and it's something that will come in handy when you are recreating things outdoors or when you're recreating things very quickly and just also in general it will help you with your observational skills which is something that I think we all we could all benefit from. So that's definitely something that I recommend doing. And if you do choose to do that, you can then also try to recreate the piece after that, this time actually having the reference to hand and seeing how your art varies as a result. Um, this has been a really fun one that I have really, really enjoyed doing. If you are drawing along, then we have just under 30 seconds left. But if you're not, fear not, we have many more exercises that I have been doing over the past few weeks. And you may or may not have noticed that most of them have been in one sketchbook. And that's just been a sketchbook that I throw in my bag, I carry around with me. And when I have literally one minute or 30 seconds or two minutes, that's when I pull this out and I then recreate all these different references. And I will talk about where I get the references references and how I do all of that a little bit later on in the video because I do think that sometimes finding what to draw can be uh, a little bit of a limiting factor but this is our time it's up and let's move on to the next one this honestly such a beautiful bouquet <laughs> um so many different elements so I'm really curious to see what you end up creating with it and we will have three minutes no four minutes for this one so four minutes starting now for this reference photo so we've talked about doing under timed conditions which we've been doing a lot during this video and by the end of this video you will have created so many beautiful bouquets in such a short period of time which I absolutely love. We've talked about doing one line drawings, we've talked about observing for a set period of time and recreating it, we've talked about observing for an unrestricted amount of time and recreating it or observing while looking at the reference photo but then the other things that I have enjoyed doing is also trying to <laughs> trying to look at a reference photo and then put the reference photo away and actually recreating something with my eyes closed and this has been something that I've done more so with painting than with drawing reason being that it like completely loosens you up and it's something that I have restrict or it's something that I tend to reserve rather for the times where I really don't know what to create or for the times where I have really put a lot of pressure on myself or even the times where I feel like I have 
I keep cre- recreating things and I just don't like the results. And this is just a way to completely remove the pressure of it because my expectations are zero. My eyes are literally closed. <laughs> So it's literally just putting paint or pen to paper and having a rough idea of what I want to recreate, whether it be that I've looked at a reference photo or whether it just be that I'm going to paint florals and then closing my eyes, doing the painting or doing the drawing and then seeing what happens as a result. And it's been really nice. Actually, one of my favourite pieces that I haven't shared on YouTube yet has been as a result of that. And it's because it was surprisingly better than I thought it was going to be but also there's this freedom that I remember when I look at it so if you're finding that you're getting quite stuck you're getting quite tight or you're putting too much pressure on what you're creating then try recreating something with your eyes closed because your expectations should be zero (laughs) like the aim of this is literally to loosen up to have fun and also to enjoy the surprise of when you open your eyes and you see like what you have created. If you are drawing along then we have one minute left for this reference but just going back to creating things with your eyes closed the the intrigue and the joy of it was also the fact that I didn't know what colours my painting would be. I didn't know if it would be muddy. I didn't know what exactly it would look like. Like obviously I've used my palette so I had a rough idea of where the general colours were but you know one centimetre to the right or one centimetre to the left and it's completely different. So a really fun exercise that I recommend. The next thing that I've really been enjoying doing is recreating specific elements and that is something that can be really helpful especially when you have a reference like this for example which feels like there is a lot going on if you want to recreate all that then by all means you can but if you just want to take a closer look at the peonies or the daisies or you know whatever flower whatever element of what you are recreating then you can really do that and dedicate a certain amount of time to doing that so whether it be that you are drawing different elements elements which is something that I tend to do um, especially with florals and bouquets to try and incorporate different shapes inside my bouquets moving forward so it's almost like doing a study or whether it is that you are really zooming in to your reference photo and recreating something in that way that is equally fine and if you are painting or drawing along with me that is time up (laughs) And for this final and stunning reference, we will have five minutes and that five minutes will start when the reference comes up in just a few seconds. But ultimately, I do appreciate that using a timer won't be for everybody. However, I do find that it has made such a good difference to my art practice, especially for the times where I feel like I don't have a lot of time to create or for the times where sometimes I feel like I'm in a bit of a slump because by the end of a relatively short period of time I will have created a number of pieces they won't be perfect but they will be there and there will be something and they will give me a sense of somewhat of accomplishment but as well as that I don't know if you know about Parkinson's law but I almost feel like I I follow that to a T where if I allocate myself a certain period of time to do a task my task will take up that entire time which is ridiculous so I could easily give myself two hours to create one painting and it takes two hours but if I give myself half an hour it would take me half an hour so just really working on I guess restricting and limiting the amount of time that I dedicate to a certain piece has helped me in so many different ways and it's not something that I do all the time but it's something that I'm doing more and more often and I've seen some really positive benefits to my art. So for example if you followed along in this video you will have created so many pieces in less than 20 minutes you will have gained so many different styles you will have warmed up and hopefully you will be motivated to continue whether it be that you do some more of these studies or you now start creating your main piece is entirely up to you when doing time studies I will dedicate anything from 10 seconds to 30 seconds to one minute all the way up to 30 minutes depending on how I'm feeling that day my reference photo and what I want to create however I do find and what I mentioned earlier is that one of the struggles that I have is not so much so the time but is the references and this is something that I've touched on before and I just wanted to share a few tips that have worked for me in terms of finding references so that when it comes to doing these tasks and these exercises 
that you know you're going to maybe recreate something for five minutes you don't end up spending 20 minutes looking for that reference (laughs) because that is that is a shame so the royalty free websites that I have used to find references include Unsplash, Pixabay and Pexels. I will leave them all linked down below in the description. They are all royalty free websites with great reference photos that you can use without fear of copyrights. Not only do I look for references there, but I also make a point of saving references as I'm going along. So, for example, when I was looking through references in this session, I was looking for bouquets. If I see a bouquet that perhaps I think is nice, but I don't feel like drawing at the moment and I may want to draw it in the future I save it in a reference folder and that is something that I can go back to time and time again so when searching except even if you don't find something that you want to create right there and then if it is something that does spark inspiration for you then save it in a folder so that you're building a treasure trove of references that you can come back to time and time again and this folder does not have to be limited to items or pictures that you get from Unsplash, Pixabay or Pexels but you can also add your own references like I can't even stress enough how helpful and how um, good it has been for me to start taking steps towards taking my own references I do share them with my copy members on as reference packs and if that's something that you are interested in as well as exclusive videos a wonderful discord community the ability to chat and do art challenges together then I will leave the link down below for my Kofi so that you can join and I would love to see you there but in a nutshell I love taking references I love creating reference packs and I love saving all that all that bundle of inspiration and sharing it with you as well. If you are drawing along then we have just under one minute left for this absolutely stunning reference photo but yeah honestly don't underestimate the power of taking your own references or asking your friends and family to send you references as well and just saving the ones that inspire you the most you don't want to create uh, an overwhelming folder that has thousands of references unless that's what you're into (laughs) but for me I just tend to have like floral folders landscape folders and I just save the ones that I like the most inside there so just keep an eye out for inspiration you may be surprised where you find it for me I've looked in streets and restaurants centerpieces parties supermarkets these are all places that I have seen beautiful flowers whether they be complete bouquets or just floral elements I have also made my own bouquets using some wild flowers and use them to recreate beautiful references that I can go back to time and time again so don't underestimate the value of recreating your own references reference photos if it is for the purpose of drawing inspiration from them you can also consider things like google or pinterest or books just accepting that they won't be copyright free and i share all these ways and even more in one of my videos which I will link for you and that's it our time is up I hope that you have enjoyed either taking part in this video or just getting some inspiration on different exercises that you can use and do these are just snippets of some of the bouquets that I made myself and I had such a wonderful time making them I will be sharing the reference photos from them for my Kofi members I'll leave that link down below in the description if you're interested if you are still watching then you are a real MVP and I really 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 appreciate you let me know that you're still watching by telling me your favorite exercise to do if you enjoyed this video then you'll definitely love this series of next ones thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week bye